And Arbor, I want to ask you a few questions. Do we want to see Trump's tax returns? Yes! Do we want a fair tax system? Yes! Do we want to make sure that the richest Americans are paying their fair share? Yes! Folks, we're going to fight for that. And I want to, and I want to, right. All of us here, we're going to fight for that. And I want to tell you something. Your Democratic Caucus in Lansing is fighting with you right now. And I say your Democratic Caucus because regardless of whether you're a Republican or a Democrat or an Independent, the policies that we're proposing will be for everyone in Michigan. We think it's wrong that Governor Snyder gave almost two billion dollars of tax breaks to the wealthiest businesses in Michigan. That is wrong. We think it's wrong that Governor Snyder came after senior pensions to pay for that tax break. We think it's wrong that right now in Lansing, Michigan House Republicans are proposing a tax cut to the income tax that would unfairly benefit the wealthiest Michiganders in the state. We think that's wrong. And even though we were able to shut them down the first time, now what we're seeing them do is they're going after the budget. They're cutting the budget as if their income tax had passed. They're cutting services again. They're coming after the Department of Natural Resources and the Department of Environmental Quality. They want to cut, 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 so that they can give their cronies a tax break. That's wrong. So the House Democratic Caucus is, is doing a counter proposal. Right now in Michigan, the lowest income earners, the, top, the bottom 20%, are paying almost 10% of their income towards state taxes, property taxes, income taxes, sales taxes. The top 1% is paying less than 6%. That's not right. We need a tax system in Michigan that is graduated. We have introduced, as Democrats, We have introduced as Democrats a package of bills that would force our income tax rate to become graduated. What that would mean is we would be able to give a tax cut to 94% of Michiganders would still get a tax break. Would still get a tax break. But the top 6% would pay their fair share. This tax plan, the, the independent nonpartisan House business office has said that our tax plan would increase the state's budget by almost 900 million dollars while still giving a tax break to the bottom 94 percent of Michigan. That's their tax system. If you want more information, uh, there's a website actually, MI, uh, oh my gosh, now I'm going to forget it, MI Tax e Equality Dot com. Go check out that website and you can put in your uh, income and see how much of a tax cut or a tax increase this would mean for you. We also in Michigan, like I was talking about earlier with the business tax, if you look at the total income that the state takes in, it's about $30 billion of money that we take in in taxes. Anybody want to guess how much businesses pay of that right now? It's half a billion. Okay, Half a billion dollars in net taxes from businesses in Michigan. Once you count all the giveaways, all the tax breaks, the state only brings in half a billion dollars compared to the total budget that is your tax dollars coming in. That is so wrong. And I'm going to tell you something. Businesses are still coming with their lobbyists to our offices asking for more. They want more. It's unacceptable, folks. And I'll tell you what, every time I give a speech at the Diag, I have the opportunity to look at the American flag waving in the background. And I often look at that flag when I'm giving this speech, because what I'm talking about is the America that we believe in. What I'm talking about is an America that believes in fairness, not an America that believes in greed. What I'm talking about is an America that invests in its people, not that invests in war. What I'm talking about is an America where we hold our power that we can stand up for, that we can get behind, because we are the people of this nation, and we believe that we can do better. Thank you.